The kids have been gruffed, the children. Yeah, but the kids eat them, eat the animals, don't they? So we're trying to show parents and that, that they shouldn't be uh, feeding yes, their kids the cruelty. There's two types of conversations to have. One is about halal and how it's not really halal here in the UK. It is what it is, bro. You have to accept it. I work on a farm. Oh, do you? Yeah, really? Oh, really? So you don't, do you think it's wrong? No turkey crown roast. We're gonna give these out for free and give people different options other than eating the bodies of slaughtered animals. So. The kids have been gruffed, the children. Yeah, but the kids eat them, eat the animals, don't they? So we're trying to show parents and that, that they shouldn't be uh, feeding yes, their kids the cruelty. Time and place. They wouldn't be allowed to show that before nine o'clock on British television. Yeah, but the, everyone, so here, everyone here supports it, they pay for it, I don't. I'm trying to tell people not to, you know what I mean? Like yes, if you pay for it, then you shouldn't be are, talking about it. You should, we, that's, are, we are humans. But you're, if you people. don't want me to pep, uh, show this, you're a hypocrite because I'm showing it because people pay for it. People pay. If, you, if you don't eat meat, you can, you can tell me not to show it. I eat meat. You eat meat, then you're paying for it. I'm only showing it because you're paying for it. I eat meat because it's food. It's not food, it's violence. It, it's murdered animals. Here, take this. Do you want to try this? this is an, there's no animal in this, and, it, and, and if you don't... Um, I, I can't tell, tell the difference between this. Take it home, roast it up, have it with some vegetables. It's vegan. Here. No turkey. Yeah, no turkey. And here's a little uh, guide for you, all right? Let me know what you think. You guys eat meat? Eat, yeah. Do you eat animals? It is what it is, bro. You have to accept it. You have to accept it? I'm, uh, I'm eating it, yeah. Uh, and you all eat meat? Yeah, I've been talking with her. Where are you from? He's a, he's a butcher. <laughs> oh, you're a butcher? Oh, you talk to my Tarian over there. Yeah. Oh, you're a halal, uh, you're the halal slaughterhouse? Sla halal slaughter? Sorry? Halal debate. You have a halal? Are you halal. Muslim? No, I'm Christian. Yeah. Christian. I still eat halal. halal meat. Okay, why do you eat halal? You think it's more ethical? Just because it's... Because halal is from, uh, it's a guideline for Islam to, yeah. to, to yeah, slaughter the animals in a... Yeah, more street, yeah. Because they believe in compassion to animals, yeah? Yeah, they pray after the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you a Muslim? Muslim? Okay. You're a Christian? Okay. But you don't eat pigs. Some Christians don't eat pigs. No, I eat everything I look at. You eat pigs? I eat even You don't eat pigs, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. There's two types of conversations to have. One is about halal and how it's not really halal here in the UK. What do you mean? Well, because they're all fact, all the animals here are factory farmed. Yeah. And those animals suffer horrible lives. And the dairy cows have their calves taken and their calves are killed and they suffer horrible lives. And then uh, egg layer hens, they suffer horrible lives. And then, the, you know, they're, they're suffering. And the halal is no suffering. Yeah. Or they have to minimize suffering in this certain way. Yeah. But they, they're killing injured animals. Uh, I was at, actually at a halal slaughterhouse the other day and they were limping uh, sheep and they were slaughtering limping sheep. It's suffering. But if you're getting them from a factory farm, they could take it to a halal slaughterhouse, call it halal. But when you eat vegan, it's always halal. It's, it's, to be vegan is, is compatible with Islam. There's no problem to be vegan and a Muslim. Yeah. But you can't guarantee that your meat is halal here. Yeah. And, and halal exists because I love talking to Muslims because it's the only religion that I've seen that has something in there like a standard for how animals should be treated. So that shows me there should be compassion for animals. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. And compassion for animals is what? Why don't we not eat them? Not cut their heads off. That's the most compassionate thing you can do. When the Quran was written in this time, they maybe didn't have a choice. Now you have choice. Why would you choose to cut an animal's head off? Choose to eat their bodies. When there's a more compassionate option than halal now. Unfortunately, I eat it, that's it. Like, I, I know you guys' mentality, I respect that. Like, it's like, you know, all the religion, you have to respect it. It's, it's, it's a good thing to step like, I, respect, I, respect I respect your, your religion. Yeah, I respect your mentality, but... <clears throat> but you're, you're, you, if, you, if you actually would listen to your religion, you'd find out that halal isn't actually halal here. Yeah, but you don't know which kind of meat I eat. I'm not buying from Asda. It doesn't matter where you buy it. Have, where, where do you get your chickens? I have animals and grow, and the, grow them up, and I do it in a halal way, in the same. <laughs> so you only eat animals that you grow yourself? Yeah, because we, obviously... You have your own not, farm? From, like, I'm not living in this area. I'm not from town, I'm from outside, isn't it? So we get our own space, we have our animals, and I eat that more, no more than that. I'm not eating this shit. Look, 
how they're feeding the animals. I'm not eating that. Yeah, but if you eat meat out here, if yeah, you, you, go out to, you don't go out to eat at all. No, I'm not, I'm not. You don't even eat halal meat from anywhere else. No, 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 no. So you eat vegan when you're out. What do you do? Yeah. If you're hungry right now, what do you do? I get a wrap from McDonald's, baby. You go to McDonald's? Yeah, but I'm not eating the meat one, I'm eating the vegetable one because McDonald's is so not eat, halal. Okay. Do you eat the cheese? Cheese. If you get a McDonald's, the vegetable I one? I like cheese, it's not good for my gym. So do you eat milk, I'm saying, milk? No, I don't eat milk stuff. No milk, no dairy? No, 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 no. Okay. Do you, it's any, not good for skin, innit? It gives you part of the skin. And I like agree it. with you. Yeah. I agree. It's not good for the cows either, but yeah. it's not halal. But but when they, when they wrote that, is it in the hadiths? The halal guidelines in the hadiths? Okay, so you don't maybe you don't <laughs> you don't know much about it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that back then the dairy industry didn't exist. Okay, when they were writing this this holy book. Yeah, but now the dairy industry exists and they're causing suffering and cruelty to these cows. But they're calling it, it's halal to, to have dairy. Why? They haven't adjusted for the no, times. You can't ask me, you need to ask the government. But, but you're Muslim it. and you eat halal. Yeah, I eat halal, but yeah. that doesn't depend on me. If you stop me and talk about, about me, about these things, it's not going to change. Because you see how many people are there. You That's know, true. Not gonna do the I mean, like. You can answer to me, yeah, because I change, you change my mind, you can change the mind of another, another person. So, so impact, you, impact, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you can be a vegan Muslim. There's nothing stopping you. Yeah. Only yourself and decision. You don't. I mean, you you might you might like the taste too much. You might not want to change. A lot of people don't want to. They don't care enough about animals. They think they're just. But in your in your religion, it's it says to care about them. It, it teaches you to that there is a being in there. You know, yeah, with a conscience, someone a consciousness, someone alive. How long have you been vegan for? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I have vegan friends, they're training, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can train, you can get 200 grams of protein, no problems, it's not an issue. Once you know yeah, what, to what, yeah, what, yeah. what to eat. Do you, do you disagree with anything I said? I think everyone, I, I'm not God to judge people and everyone has this own mentality, so I respect what you're saying in this right as well, you know. Yeah, but you can disagree as well. I mean, it's okay to disagree. Yeah, well, if you agree with me, then that's, that says something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm says I'm speaking you. the I truth. With your points, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are you know good things and bad things and everything. You know, like, like there is, there is. Like, fam, like obviously, these kind of foods they're not. How can I say like they're not completely harm free. You can't, you can't you can't grow them. You understand what I mean? You need industries to produce of them course. as well. Of course, I know. Like nothing is harm free completely. Exactly. All, but but there saying. are things that are way worse. Yeah. Like because rounding like, up billions you of you animals in slaughter. Stop me and say, look. It's, not, it's about pollution, you know, animal produce pollution as well. The industry, they make vegan food, tofu stuff. That's secondary it's, to me. It, it's, it's the same thing, isn't it's it? It's secondary to me. Yeah. Because if, a, if you, you all enslaved all these people and that was causing pollution, that would be secondary. That would be the second thing I think about. The first thing is you being enslaved and killed. That's the first thing. That's the animals, the first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are bad things, of course. Like, there's bad everywhere. Like, you can't live without causing some harm. But we cause the most harm we possibly can when we eat animals. The most we can. More animals, if every Muslim went vegan, do you know how much less suffering and killing there would be on the earth? It would be amazing. And, and, and it's destroying God's earth, uh, raising animals as well, which is another point. Destroying God's earth, because they have to grow food to feed the animals, and then we eat the animals, and that food needs to be watered, and they need cropland. So that's destroying God's earth. Like, why? Yeah, yeah, why no, would God want this? I just don't understand why God would want this. Something more sustainable, better for your health, and less suffering. I just don't. I don't, I don't get why. I don't get why every Muslim isn't vegan. I mean, it would be a, a beautiful world, and uh, less blood and killing. But anyway, it's good talking to you, brother. Take care. Peace to you. Take care, my brother. We're down to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We're down to 16. We're just showing people what happens in the turkey industry. Yeah, and... no, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Vegetarian. You're a vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a dairy cow. So I don't know if you eat dairy as a vegetarian. Well, milk cow. But... Yeah, yeah. So all the, all the dairy cows will get slaughtered and get turned into hamburgers after they're done being exploited because they exploit them for everything they've got, suck them dry after about six, seven years, and then they kill them. Horrible industries, man, and uh, slaughterhouses here are just as bad as slaughterhouses anywhere else. And so these are a little no turkey crown roast, but we've also got these little cards here. It's horrible, I'll be, I'll be treated, like in the egg industry, 
uh, the males won't produce eggs. So when they go to the, they go to a hatchery, they incubate them, they hatch, and when the, with the males, they separate them out, and then they drop them in a big blender, and mince up little babies alive. And they do that across the board, organic, free range, all of them. So when you put your money towards it, you're, you're donating your money to this cruelty, you know what I mean, and violence. So if it's something you're against, it only makes sense oh, yeah. that you boycott it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, Keep it up, no man. worries, brother. He was actually absorbing what I was saying and he was looking at the screens. I could tell that he was actively listening. If you see someone actively, actively listening, just keep doing outreach. If you see them not listening, ask them a question. That'll encourage them to engage again because asking someone a question will have them think. I'm applying the QR codes to the uh, vegan turkeys for the super vegan Christmas guide. Hey, go, mate. We're giving out uh, vegan turkeys. You want to take one? This is a turkey industry here. We're showing people what happens, eh? Uh, cruelty and killing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I same way. I'm not like this. You know. Yeah. You don't like it's it? Bad. It's bad. It's bad, eh? Yeah. Have you seen this before, mate? I've seen it. This is a this is dairy. Uh, I work, I work on a farm. So oh, do you? Yeah, really. Oh, really? So you don't? Do you think it's wrong? Yeah. It's what wrong. they do to the animals? Yeah. 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 I'm used to. I've seen people doing it. Oh, really? It's I not good. With, I work with horses and cattle. So we, we're trying to show people what happens to the turkeys and animals. Oh, turkey farms and all that. Yeah, we don't yeah. want people eating the animals know, you know for Christmas. And you know what a vegan is? Yeah, yeah, don't eat meat. We don't eat meat and, and anything from an animal. Yeah, yeah, don't eat anything from an animal. Eggs. Yeah, dairy yeah. products. Yeah, because they kill those animals, they exploit and often torture well, those animals. And Iceland, they're the worst ones, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to take one of these I'll to roast one, it up? Yeah. yeah. They're good. Roast it up, a bit of gravy. There's a bit of garlic butter on top. Yeah, because they, they're too big. They grow them too big, selectively bred. They can't mate. So they they have to artificially rape them. They're essentially raping them. Um, this is Cambridgeshire. This is uh, often cannibalism happens. Cause Why is that? Because the, the, the chickens, they just suffer and start suffering and dying. And the other birds just start pecking them because they're confined. Do you want to take my last one? This is for you, the last one. This is uh, turkeys being killed, we don't want this. This is uh, no turkey. I don't need turkey. Okay, this is vegan. Oh, so it's not meat? No, 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 of course not. No. That's all right. We, we're, we're showing people so they don't eat meat. We don't want don't people to eat meat. meat. Yeah. And this is eggs. So this is the egg industry here. They, they take the males and they grind them up and kill them because they won't lay eggs. They, don't, they won't grow to lay eggs. So they blend them up. In the egg industry, uh, they, they grind the males up in a big blender because they won't produce eggs because they're not female. The females will go into these farms, lay eggs, and then uh, That's just evil. they often suffer. And free range is no better. This is a free range farm. And when they, when they lose all their feathers and they've, they've been exploited and laid so many eggs, they gas them. They gas them in a gas chamber and people eat them. People eat them. But this is why we're vegan, so... Vegan. She go vegan. She will. So this has been handing out vegan turkeys in Manchester. It's been amazing. I just want to say thank you to Derek Sarno of Wicked Kitchen for donating these to us so we could help the animals. We've had some amazing conversations. We've given away nearly 100 of these no turkey vegan roasts. So please have a vegan Christmas, a vegan New Year. Go vegan forever and leave the animals out of your lifestyle. Find all the links to the Christmas guide and to Challenge 22 down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.